Well, they are made for self-defense. Simple to use, and you can find one almost anywhere in town. But now, one city council member says the word needs to get out. Tasers aren't toys. KXLY4's Aaron Luna is live now. And Aaron, what's being proposed here? Oh, Robin, right now the city council has the city attorney looking into what the law exactly says about taser use. Once he brings those results to the city council, they'll make a decision that could include stiffer penalties for using a taser wrongly and properly. And that also could mean you couldn't buy tasers everywhere just behind the counter. Just the sound of one is intimidating. And while these electronic devices are made to protect, some people are concerned they can easily be used to harm. Well, they're being sold all over town and, and not even in stores. A lot of times they're just on the street being sold. Uh, That's true. We found a home on Maple where you can buy a taser on the spot. But City Council Member Bob Apple says that's causing people to look on the shocking devices as a mere source of entertainment. They can be very damaging and very deadly and these are not toys and that needs to be made clear, very clear to the public. Right now the city attorney is looking into exactly what the law says about taser use. Not a specific law regarding tasers in and of itself as a weapon system and that's how we from law enforcement community will look at it. The police department says tasers fall under the category of any object used as a weapon. While a ballpoint pen may not be on its face value of lethal weapon, certainly you could kill somebody with it. The council will now decide if that is enough. There needs to be stiff penalties in the law for misuse of these sort of items. And enough to stop a problem that might not even have started. <laughs> we haven't seen a significant issue in it. Now, once again, there aren't any proposals or new ordinance on the table just yet. The city council is waiting on information before making any sort of decision. Reporting live in Spokane, Aaron Luna, KXLY4 HD News.